So we're going to continue on um, identifying the order of all the different rock layers. We already did the oldest and then the next layer um, in video one. Now, just note that I will, in this video, I will continue to place these rock layers in order. If at any point you feel like you are comfortable doing this on your own, you can just exit the video and continue. If you're still uncomfortable and you need my support all the way through, feel free to continue playing the video. So, we already identified in video one that this fossil is no longer found in any of the others. So now we're just looking at layers, we're trying to find layers with this first fossil, which looks like a little scorpion. So what I'm going to do is just drag any of the ones that contain the scorpion looking fossil right here next to it so that we can kind of closely look at it. So this one has one. This one has one. This one has one. And this one also has one. So we have four different layers that contain this fossil. And so now what we have to do is use clues of fossil clues in these four layers um, to help us figure out how to put these in order. So first thing I'm going to do is just kind of identify other fossils that I see. So looking at this top one, I see this leaf, which um, I don't see in any of the others. And let's see if I see it in any of the remaining layers, which I don't. Okay, so that's actually, that would be an example of an index fossil. Um, this next one is the, the dinosaur fossil. Um, I do see it in this one, which means these two need to be um, consecutive layers. So I'm going to move this one up next to it. Don't know if that's the correct order as of right now, but for now I'm going to place them next to each other because they definitely want, they go after one before the other. Okay, then we've got this like cockroach looking thing. Okay, and I only see it in these two, so that's fine. And then I have this fish, which is in all four, so that's not going to help us figure out the order of these. The seashell, which is in these two. And then obviously our scorpion looking fossil. And going back to the seashell, I do see that this layer that is highlighted right now does not contain a seashell and this one does, which means this guy has to move up here. Okay, so, oops. Now we gotta figure out how these three go in order and then which one goes next, either this one or whichever one goes next in this order. So I need to use the remaining fossil layers to help me figure that out. So what I'm going to do now is look to see if any of these fossil layers exist in any of the remaining ones. And I'm going to start with this one because that will immediately tell us if it goes next or if it is the youngest of these four. So I see the weird looking, two weird looking fish like fossils. So I'm going to see if they're in any of the remaining fossil layers. Because if so, then it might be the youngest. If not, um, then it's definitely the next one that needs to go into our chart. So looking at the remaining fossils, it looks like neither of those two fossil fish-like fossils are in the remaining fossil layers, which means it goes extinct after these. So that tells us that it has to go next. Okay, so I'm going to put that one next. And now I need to figure out the order of the remaining three. So again, I'm doing the same process. Do any of these other fossils in these three layers appear in the remaining ones we have left? So we already said this leaf-like fossil does not exist anywhere else. Let's look at this one. Um, because it's only in these two, and I do see it directly above me. So it's in this layer, which means it continues to exist in the fossil record even after these three layers, which means these two definitely go on top. So that means this one goes next, 
because it does not contain one of those dinosaur-like fossils. And then we got to figure out the order of these two. So, is there any clues just either in these that tell us? Not that I'm noticing. So, let's see. What others can we figure out? So, let's take a look at... The shell because it continues on. So the shell is in all of these layers here, and the scorpion is continues. The dinosaur layer kind of fails out, but that or it is continued here, but that still doesn't help us. Um, so to be honest, I'm personally, I'm not seeing a way to tell which one of these actually comes first and which one comes second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put them in an order here. Either way, it does not matter, it appears to me. So now I've got to figure out how the rest of the remaining layers go. So this cockroach looking layer keeps existing. So we can't use that to help us figure out the order. This is um, this dinosaur looking fossil um, that is in that layer is the next helpful one because we saw it here, which means this, and then I don't see it at all anymore. So that means this layer has got to go next. Okay, and then we can use the shell and this leaf-like looking fossil to help us figure out the last three. Okay, so I'm going to scooch these over here. Okay, so the shell does not go all the way through. because It's only in these two layers, which means this one is definitely our youngest. I'm going to already put that in there. Now all we have to do is figure out the remaining two. So let's see if there's any fossils that can help us determine that. Um, so the one that I'm noticing is the leaf. And it's not found in this layer, but it is found in this layer, which we determined to be the youngest. So that means this one would have to go here, and this one would have to go here. Which means there we go. We have it in the order we would like it to be in. Um, now that we've finished putting all the rock layers in order from oldest to youngest, your final portion of the assignment is to use that and the fossil key to answer the conclusion questions.